Alright guys, for this step we're going to go uh, get into how to install the messages and the emails for what goes out after somebody opts in into your autoresponder. Now, I have an email campaign for you and I'm going to show you how to install that. Now, if you want to write 10 to 15 to 20 emails to go out to people, absolutely, that, that you know, more power to you but I'll be honest with you that takes a long long time so what I think will save you some time is you just take my email campaign and you know install it into uh, in into this list in that way and then you can just go in and edit my information and put your information in there and it will save you a lot of time it might take you maybe an hour versus a month so <laughs> pretty big difference so now we're still in our list right here. Remember we did the first three parts here to getting the list created. Uh, go to messages and go to follow up right there. And what you're going to do in this section right here is you're going to, in this part right here, it says load campaign. We're going to put in a campaign and this is going to just load up 25 emails right here in front of you okay now I've got to get that code so let me go into my list right here and here's all my emails right here that are already kind of made out now there right here is the the campaign sharing code I'm going to copy that. Now I'm going to have this down below the video so you can just copy and paste it in there while you're doing it. And let me go back to that new list that we're creating. And guys, I know some of this looks very, very confusing, but once you come in here and play around with it, it's just like second nature, okay? So what you want to do with that code that's down below this video is you want to you know, click in that box, right click, paste it in there, load campaign, left click load campaign. And boom, instantly like magic, you've got 26 emails in your Infinity Downline autoresponder, okay? Now these are all very, very good thought out emails created by myself and John for you guys. Now, once this stuff is in here, you know, it's in here, but... Um, and we've got all we've got all the intervals of the messages set up for when they go out, how quickly they go out, all that's done for you. But something very you know important I want to show you right here, just for instance, you know when we look into um, a particular email, you want to you'll want to go in and edit and put your own information and links on, from your side in here. And I'm going to show you how to do all that in the next step. But for this step, what we did is we loaded in all the emails from that campaign sharing code that I have for you guys. So that's it for this step. And the next step, I'm going to show you how to go in and edit each one. We're not going to edit every single one of them, of course, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So you, in your own time, you can go through and put your information in the place of mine and show you how that works. That's it for that step, guys.